For a little more than a decade now, we've all heard how important China is to the global automotive business. And you know, for that matter, it's important to all businesses that import or export or produce, actually manufacture things. And in the not so foggy future, China will become the most important market, as in the one that sells the most, of any in the world. And as a result, auto manufacturers like Honda, Toyota, GM, Volkswagen, Jaguar Land Rover for that matter, will have a focus on China the way they used to have a focus on the US and Canadian markets, the North American market, in the 1970s and 1980s. Which is to say that nearly all of their design efforts go into products conceived for that particular market. And everywhere else gets the odd specialty vehicle and minor attention. Well, we were looking at some numbers on the first half of 2021 auto sales. And we're really shocked to see that that day has come for a number of the major manufacturers. So we decided to spend a few hours and do a pile of research to dig out the current numbers for light duty auto sales for all of the notable automobile manufacturers that sell product in China, excluding the Chinese. So we didn't include NIO, BYD, you know, whatever else. So here are the global sales of light duty autos, which we're going to explain in just a second for all of the major companies that sell into China. Some of these vehicles are manufactured in China, some of them are manufactured outside of China. But the point is these are non-Chinese companies with serious sales volumes in China. Now the two things to note about this are that the numbers are a bit weird because in the first half of 2021, you might have heard that the pandemic was starting to, well, hopefully clear out. And so various companies come back at different speeds, different rates. There was also the chip shortage to contend with. And some companies like Volkswagen obviously did a much better job than some other companies. So while Volkswagen was affected by the chip shortage, it wasn't as bad as it was for some other companies like GM. Another thing to note is these are light duty passenger vehicles which excludes things like buses, big rigs, or lorries, as they're called in some parts of the world. So companies like Mercedes are actually much larger than what they're shown here, as far as their total automotive business goes. But we're talking about more of the consumer type products, mostly standard SUVs, sedans, and trucks. All right, now let's try to bring some color into this and explain how important China really is to the global automotive market. Let's bring in the US numbers, okay? They're a little smaller than I would have thought, but when you look at companies like General Motors and Volkswagen, I mean, they really are global. They don't just sell product in Africa and South America and everywhere else. They actually manufacture in those places. Now let's add in the Chinese numbers. Wow, look at the scale of operation that Volkswagen has there. How many units they actually sell. General Motors also just giant sales in China. And then there are companies that seem to be, you know, almost dying in the in the West, like Nissan. And you can see that's by far their major market. Same for Mercedes, and BMW, and Toyota. While it's not their major market, it's awfully close. And you can just bet in the next couple of years, it's going to be. We have partisan issues don't think that Western markets, you know, the UK, Europe, Canada, the US will be relegated to 1970s, 1980s uh, type treatment, uh, you know, the way that uh, the, the major companies treated uh, China, uh, because they're still major, just massive markets. But their focus on China is not only understandable, it'll be demanded by Western shareholders. And as a result, we will see an awful lot more Chinese related product in North America. Vehicles that are designed primarily for the Chinese market or manufactured, assembled in China and shipped to the rest of the world. Vehicles like the Buick Envision and the Cadillac CT6 plug-in hybrid, Chinese spec and Chinese manufactured Teslas. Hey, if you found this video interesting or useful, we'd love it if you'd click like uh, and subscribe. Uh, that's also super helpful. Great with the Google algorithms, uh, very much appreciated. If you have any questions, just uh, write them in the uh, comment section below, or you can always get a hold of us at www.partisanissues.com. Thanks and have a great day. Bye-bye.